Hey everybody, I think we're doing a close-up. Uh, I hope we are. And I'm here in the beanbag chair in the uh, in the new room, whatever we're calling it. I don't know if it has a proper name yet. Oh, hi Scooty. But it's the room where Scotty and her uh, puppy kittens are. And as you can see, I'm being visited on the beanbag by Scotty. Hi Scotty. And B little beagle hi beagle they this morning they got weighed for the first time in like three weeks they're all looking very good weight wise and otherwise and they all got new collars too because their little tiny kitten collars were finally too small most of that is because they, they pull on it and you'll notice if like if you've been watching especially visible with yurt uh the little collars like get fuzz and stuff and they get yanked on and they the collars actually shrink as they're wearing them due to all the, the pulling on them. Uh, so it's not entirely that they outgrew their first collars. Uh, it's more that the first collars had shrunk. Um, but <clears throat> now we're able to fit uh, these regular uh, tiny collars that were sent by the underscore kitten some time ago. So uh, they did also get an upgrade in size. So there you have it. This week, uh, some things are happening this week. As you know, uh, Scotty there, who's trying to tear up the tunnel right now. Look at her pulling on that. Oh no, she's trying to pull the fur off of one of her toys. She does that, she I mean, shreds them. Uh, oh, that's a catnip bag. She's trying to pull it through the tunnel. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, anyway, um, so Scotty uh, here is going for her spade. Tomorrow is her big day. She finally gets to get spayed. Be, be on the climbing wall. Uh, so yeah, Scotty finally gets to get spayed tomorrow, and that means that uh, after, uh, in about two weeks, uh, she then will be ready to be adopted, but as far as we know, she doesn't yet have an approved adopter. That doesn't mean no one's applied, and it doesn't mean that uh, anybody that's applied isn't going to be approved, uh, just that we haven't heard yet that she does have an approved adopter. So we're looking forward to that. <laughs> Uh, what else? Um, that's the big news. Oh, of course, then uh, there are some adoptions that are happening this week. And I think in the last um, close up, I may have uh, told you incorrectly that those adoptions are going to happen last Friday. But this Friday, we have Villa and Chalet getting picked up by their adopters. And then uh, I think Saturday, we have Bumble uh, getting picked up by her adopter. I think that is correct. Although if the uh, calendar on Discord says something else, you should believe that since uh, I don't have to make that up off the top of my head like I do during these. Um, so whatever it says is I'm sure right. Uh, but I do believe that's what it says, that this Friday is uh, Villa and Chalet's adoption. And then uh, after that, uh, Bumble's adoption on Saturday. And then after that, we don't have any other adoptions scheduled uh, until the end of April, I think, which would be... Um, the first of these kids to go, who I think is going to be Bass and Jack uh, on April, the last weekday in April, Friday the 29th, perhaps, so something like that, I think. So that uh, that's the plan for, that's what I can remember of the plan for adoptions. Hopefully I got that right. Uh, and uh, yeah, River has an approved adopter. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Pat. April 12th. Okay, I guess I got that. So again, yeah, whatever Discord says, definitely right. Uh, whatever I'm saying, uh, definitely, uh, you know, uh, uh, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, okay, so River is getting picked up on the 12th. Thank you. Uh, I didn't forget her. I just couldn't remember when the adoption was. So, all right, uh, let's see. So these kids this morning, they got weighed, they got new collars, and they got their first tissue pit, sort of a starter tissue pit. We just threw some white tissue in a a little box here that says tissue pit starter edition and they've had some fun with it mostly jack he's the one that just gets into everything i think they've already just moved on to <laughs> everything else that's going on in the room they're definitely in play mode right now this is saint with his shiny purple collar brand new collar looking very good oh uh um scotty by the way has gained about a pound since she's been here and she's showing it she's she's looking very healthy that's good that she's not, you know, she doesn't have to nurse the kittens anymore. Uh, I don't think she does really either. It's not very often anyway. Yeah, Yurt, um, Yurt is getting adopted with Beagle from, this is Beagle here. Beagle and Yurt are going to be brother and sister. 
uh, from different mothers. And so Yurt will be staying here for a long time until Beagle's ready to be picked up. Uh, Terry just said May 7th. That sounds about right. <clears throat> Beagle also just got a fresh pink collar. Yes. Hi, sweetie pie. Hi. Okay. She's like, I don't know about this. I, I think I like it, but I also want to bite it. <laughs> You're so silly. Beagle's the floofiest of all in the class. Her, her fur is the thickest and the floofiest fur. She's just a sweetie. Uh, Charlie, is Bumble the longest staying non-mom cat at KA? Well, somebody made a chart of how long every cat has been here, so somebody can answer that question, uh, but that somebody's not me. I don't, I don't happen to know the answer. I doubt it. I feel like uh, plenty have been here longer than Bumble. But I could be mistaken. And yes, I have brought B and Yurt together. I brought Yurt in to meet her whole family because my hope is that after Val Valet, uh, nope, uh, Villa and Chalet get adopted this weekend, that Yurt can eventually join these kids full time and live in the room with them and their mom. That would be really nice. Um, but that's you know you can't just do it and hope for the best. So. Uh, it's going to take some some effort and some planning and some trials. And I see that Saint has already taken off his collar, buddy, and turned it into a toy. Hi, Saint. Uh, I did trim some. So when we when we put collars on the kittens, they have this little clasp. I'll show you real quick since we're just talking about it. They have this cute little clasp that's shaped like a cat head. And uh, the other end, we have to cut some parts off of. You can see where I've cut it to uh, make it come apart easier because we would rather have them have their collars fall off than to have them not come off, uh, you know, if they get caught on something. And really, a lot of these collars are way too hard to unclasp. Um, you know, they're not on for identification. Doesn't, well, I mean, they are for identification, but uh, not in any critical way. So if they come off, we don't mind and would rather, like I said, have them fall off than not. So that said, I did trim some of these a little too much and now they're just gonna fall off way more often than they should. I might even have to redo Saints if he keeps taking it off. Um, but for now, let's just put it right back on and see how long it stays. Because if I trim it a little too far, then there's just no clasping at all. And uh, that's basically where we're at here with this one. I just trimmed a little bit too much and now there's no, there we go, all right. So it'll probably pop right back off again. We'll give him another one if we have to. That's Saint anyway. Saint is uh, of the group. He's the one that's most likely to purr spontaneously. Like you can even just look at him. Sometimes he'll start purring or if you pet him, he's not gonna do it right now, of course. But he's a big purr monkey from this class. And then here's Bassett. Uh, Bassett and Jack again, the ones that are getting adopted together uh, first, but you know, at the end of April. So it's still a long way off. That's our buddy Bass. He loves his little belly rubs. Yeah, we got some playing, Palm in the tissue pit. Palm is the one that's got the big uh, surprised eyes and also the most shy of the class, but always looks surprised like Ari. Look at those eyes, every time. I don't think you'll ever catch Palm not looking wide-eyed. She's too cute. Hi, hi Palm. And like I said, she's also one of the, probably the shyest in this group, the one that's the most likely to, you have to chase her down to pet her. Um, but she is also a sweetheart. They're all total sweethearts. Okay, Pom, there you go. What is it? Hi, Jack. I assume Jack, yes, with his blue collar that you can't even see. And this has got to be Pom hanging out with Mom. I mean, uh, uh, B hanging out with Mom. Pom there. So Beagle, Pomeranian, Jack. Oh, the underscore kitten. No, you don't have to send us any more collars. We're good. Uh, we still have a giant box. In fact, I can even show you real quick. It's right in the next room. We still have all the collars that you sent and we are uh, making the best use out of them. And I've gotten very good at trimming them smaller when the kittens are young and need them smaller. Not a problem. So, uh, so definitely don't have to send any more yet. Uh, I think you've sent us basically a lifetime supply. Here, I'll just show you since they're right here. These are all the collars 
that uh, the underscore kitten sent us previously. Look at all that. That is a lot of collars still. So we gotta have a lot more kittens before we need more. And I, I definitely, like I said, I learned how to trim them and uh, we can do all that ourselves. So don't worry about it. Okay, uh, let's see, have we seen everybody here now? I think we have. If you wanna keep watching these kittens, you can tune in to the regular Kitten Academy live stream anytime on YouTube. In fact, this is what the Kitten Academy live stream looks like right there. So if you do tune in, that's what you'll be seeing is, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds ago. <laughs> and we try to get those cameras pointed at the kittens as often as possible. But let's go and see everybody else here at the Academy with the close-up camera. And uh, if you'd rather just watch these kittens, all you have to do is switch over to that and you will be watching just these kittens for the moment. And we do switch it up quite a bit and make sure everybody gets on there. Okay. And they are active right now. Bomb, who are you biting on? Is that Pug? I don't think we did see Pug, and that's not Pug. Where is Pug? Pug is the one we haven't seen. Pug with his little green collar. That must be him then. I thought that was Saint. Pug? Yes, brand new green collar. Okay, that's Pug. All right, now we've seen everybody, haven't we, Puggy? Okay. Got that? Playing with one of those green Charlie balls, huh? Good times. Uh, hi, yes. Now, Scotty uh, always wants to go out, but uh, I know her mournful talking sounds like she's really suffering. And I'll just tell you that she talks the same way even when she is out. She just likes to talk a lot. Also, I think that getting her spay tomorrow is probably going to help a little bit. Some of that, I think, is related. Okay, now we got to slip out the door without letting her out yet. We've been uh, having her walk around the house wearing her harness. And that's working out very well, uh, actually, um, really, really well. But uh, the fact that she still goes after, like Maggie gets her to chase her once in a while, it leads me to believe that keeping the harness on when she goes out is important, if there's gonna be other kittens around anyway. Now let's see. We gotta drop in here real quick and see Bumble. Hi, Bumble. I think you're finally going home on Saturday. So you got less than a week left and I'm gonna miss this one. She is just a big old snuggle bunny. Every morning she likes to come and sit right on top of me in bed and ask for breakfast, but she's very polite about it. She snuggles and she purrs. Uh, as you know, she uh, really gets upset by change and by new cats being part of that change even more. But uh, she, she adjusts after a certain amount of time. She's just slow to adjust. So. If her adopters have other cats, or even if they don't, they should probably expect a little bit of an adjustment period where she growls. If you remember when we first met her, she would just growl at me for what seemed like no reason. Um, or get very growly very quickly at first. <laughs> but now she doesn't do that for me or for the kittens, uh, but she'll still do it. Like for instance, if River's been in her space or if she sees Maggie, or if anybody's too zoomy near her, uh, she likes to lay down the law a little bit, and the kittens have all learned to be very respectful of that, so it's been a good lesson for the kittens uh, to, to have a kitten cat that is uh, you know, not going to react positively every time like their mom does. I think it's a good lesson for them. So that's our little Bumble, and she's hanging out in the bedroom today with Custard. Here, we'll see him even though he's faculty. And they tend to hang out uh, together pretty much all the time because they also respect each other. Okay, Custer Doodle, there you go. All right, now let's go downstairs and see the rest of the kittens. We've got the, uh, the annex is mostly cleaned out and I told Dawes that would be ready for another mom cat in a couple weeks. So I would expect sometime in the back half of April for that to happen. Talk about getting your foot in the door. Buddy, that is not what they mean, Yurt. That's Yurt there sitting there looking at us. And this looks like uh, Villa. Oh, it is Villa. Okay, see the red. I promise I was going to say Villa before we saw that. And here comes Chalet. And I know all three of these little kids want to go out. <laughs> He's got his tail under the door. Here, this is ridiculous, buddy. Why don't you back up so we can come in there? Come on. Look out. Watch your tail. Watch your tail, buddy. Come on. 
There you go. Okay, let me come in. So, uh, like I mentioned, Villa and Chalet, the two girls, are going to get adopted together on Friday, I believe, is when their pickup is coming. This is Villa. And uh, that's Chalet. This is their brother, Yurt, who's getting adopted with Be uh, Beagle upstairs that you saw. So, uh, we're going to spend more time introducing them. Hi, Yurty. Hi, buddy. And this is Chalet. Hi, Chalet. Chalet had her sutures out. And they went just fine. So she's all ready to go. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, yesterday, Scotty ran out the door and I tried to grab her in the hallway and I thought I could sort of jump and tackle her, uh, you know, carefully. Uh, and I missed. Uh, so I landed on my knees and, and my wrist. And that's not why I'm wearing the splint. The splint was there already. Uh, and no damage done. As far as I can tell, I feel fine today. So that turned out just fine in the end. I was worried, though, that uh, my knees would be hurting today. And they're not. So that's small blessings, you know. It's all good. Hi, Shelly. These kids spent all night hanging out with us, and now they want to go out and play even more, I can see. <clears throat> We're not going to let them out, though. They're just not doing a whole lot, are they? <laughs> not right now, anyway. Oh, there we go. That's fun. We're going to pull that right off. Just a toy on a, a rubber band and, and a binder clip. It's a rubber band. It's more like an elastic band, like a, like a hair tie kind of a thing. <laughs> I'll definitely... Hi! Hi! She just came up and tapped my knee with her paw like, Hi, are you going to pay attention to me? Well, I am, River. River is a sweetheart, and she just loves getting attention. And she spent all night in my office by herself, actually, after she spent all day in my office yesterday hanging out with me. And she did fine. She likes to just sit on the futon and relax uh, when I'm not in there anyway. And when I am in there, she likes to rub on my ankles and demand attention and sit in my lap. So uh, you see, she's a sweetheart. Hi. I think right now she just wants to go out, probably wants to go back to my office and hang out there for a while, which I'm sure is in the cards for today. Got lots and lots of stuff to do today. Um, and then tomorrow, uh, back and forth to the vet a couple few times. Oh, uh, we got double scheduled, I think. Tomorrow's not only River, I mean, not only Scotty's um, spay, no, I don't think that's true, actually. I'm, I must be thinking of a different day. Uh, it must be next week when the kids are going for uh, the week after. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I definitely have to go to the vet at least twice tomorrow was my point. Uh, wants to drop off Scooty and wants to pick her up again. Uh, so there'll be a lot of that. Plus, uh, tomorrow's Tuesday, so I have my PT, and that means... Uh, tomorrow's going to be one of those days when you're not going to see a whole lot of me, and these kids are probably going to spend a little extra time in their room. But uh, we'll make up for that, and we'll make up for some of that in advance today by letting them go out and play, won't we? Which I think, I think they're ready to do. That's what they want to do. In fact, why don't we do it right now? I feel like I'm kind of taking a risk, but I feel like River is good enough with the faculty that if we're going to watch what she does... We can keep an eye on her and make sure she doesn't start any trouble. Of course, if we've got to end this thing in a hurry, then, then we do. Sorry. But we'll see. There we go. All three kids wanted to run straight out here and play. There's Logan Berry sitting in his chair. And there's uh, Eddie sitting up there in the cat tree. So, and there's River. Let's keep a close eye on her so she doesn't go for anybody before we're ready. Sometimes she seems like she will, but she's also pretty shy and deferential. So I feel like if nobody runs away from her, 
then she's probably not going to have to chase anybody. Of course, if she sees, like, if Maggie comes running through here, she's going to go in hot pursuit, and that would end badly, and I'll have to chase them and make another flying tackle. <laughs> so let's hope that doesn't happen. I can hear the, uh, the little puppy kittens upstairs running around on the ceiling that's right above this room. Hi, where are you going though, River? I'm following you. We're just following you right now. That's what we're gonna do. Well, your kids play in the living room and then uh, after we end the close up, I'll get like this camera or uh, that camera or something so you can watch them if they're gonna be in here. In fact, we can even, oh, there's Maggie right there. There's Maggie and Logan, she sees Maggie. I thought she saw Maggie. Hi, Maggie. And they don't have a problem with each other as long as Maggie's just going to sit here and be respectful. It's when Maggie decides that she wants to be chased and she starts running that they run into trouble because then she gets chased and then she decides she doesn't want to be chased. And then there's a screaming match. It's Maggie just yells when, when she's being pursued and uh, doesn't want it and all of a sudden. mostly sound, um, but uh, it's disturbing. Try to avoid it. Hi, Loganberry. Loganberry had a couple teeth out the other day and I, he's feeling much better now. Aren't you, buddy? Yeah. I'm just taking it easy in one of his favorite spots. Here's Eddie. Hi, bud. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you'll get sun in there in a couple. Oh, there's Maggie. Uh, uh, okay, wow, she just ran up on Maggie with no conflict. I know, I should have been more careful, but she is hissing. I know, you don't want her in here, but you're not going to do anything about it. But we're going to take you upstairs to the office, okay? Because I don't want to have to keep that close an eye on you. That was very good, though. That was very good. You did a very good thing. Yeah, you did. She actually did. Uh, that was an excellent interaction. She ran up, she sniffed Maggie, she hissed a little, but she wasn't gonna start any trouble. So that was excellent. Now let's put her in here where she likes to hang out and see if she'll settle down in here. If so, uh, we'll end this close up and I'll close the door and I'll shuffle some cats around and make everybody comfortable in their spaces. Hi, are you gonna hang out in here? You wanna go back down and check on your kittens with that weird mom cat around? You, you wait here. We'll take care of that, okay? We just wait here. Okay. I think Maggie is actually looking for trouble, so it's doubly good that River didn't take the bait. Hi, Maggie. Are you looking for trouble, Maggie? Are you? I think you are. You got that, you got that look. All right, well, uh, this is a good spot as any to wrap it up. Thank you guys for joining me for the close up. And uh, I hope that you will tune into the Kitten Academy live stream and keep an eye on everybody. And uh, thank you, Jaguar6330. I hope uh, you also have a beautiful week. And that's, that's for everybody. I hope you all have a great week. And we'll make sure that we do at least one more close-up before Friday so that Villa and Chalet get a chance to wave goodbye to everybody. That's uh, Chalet and Villa. And that's Yurt. They're all up here exploring their old room. I think they were in this room for a while, weren't they? It seems so long ago. Anyway, so yeah, we'll definitely do at least a little close-up so they can say their goodbye waves. So that's a real commitment to do one before Friday. Uh, and other than that, uh, we'll see you on the regular stream, I guess. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody.
that made this glass so dirty. Soon. I promise, real soon, kiddo. Mm-hmm.